indeed, you're buying the building and three and a half acres. All right, sell the building right there to give thirty-five thousand. Yeah, thirty thousand right there, and thirty thousand right there, and thirty thousand right there, right there to give thirty thousand dollars. Yeah, thirty thousand right there, and thirty thousand right there, thirty thousand right there, and give twenty-five. Yeah, twenty-five thousand right there, and twenty-five right there, twenty-five right there, twenty-five. We'll give twenty thousand dollars. You're gonna start it. You're gonna start it, folks, and it is gonna sell. We'll give ten thousand dollars. Yeah, ten thousand now, fifteen, fifteen, now, fifteen, 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 fifteen,
In his office hangs an offering plate that survived the tornado. It used to be a brass cross that hung behind the pulpit on the wall. And it was stuck straight up in the front yard. And then the other offering plate was folded in half and was laying by it. And then this one was leaning up against it. You know who that is. Governor Terry Branstad was also on site evaluating the damage done to Wright. Out here in the Red Cross served between, I think, six, seven, 750 lunches, a couple of three days to people that are working out here, cleaning up, helping. And you'd have people that would come up and say, you had a church here. We think it ought to be a church here. We want to help you out. We want to give you some money to build a church. Well, it says starting over, right residence, rebuild church. Larry Lindsley left treasure, the Union Church of Wright, uh, works on papers for a contribution from the Southern Baptist Disaster Fund with its Oskaloosa representative, the Reverend George Kepper. And when, when we built this building after the tornado, and I don't know, it wasn't a lot of money in today's terms, but I think we, we probably had 70, 75,000, something like that in the building, the construction project. And it was f clear and free when, when we were done. We, we never had any indebtedness against it whatsoever. By September of 1985, Wright Union Church had a new home built on the foundation of the old schoolhouse. Um, what we did was come back after the tornado and rebuild this building on the footings that were here of the original schoolhouse. But over the years, the congregation of Wright Union Church decreased into single digits on Sunday mornings, resulting in one of the reasons for the sale of the church. The closing of the local seminary school, Vernard College, in 2008 also played a part. Students from Vernard served as pastors at Wright since the early 70s. Well, Vernard closed, what, about three years ago, I guess. And um, so you can go back uh, probably 30 years beyond that that we were involved in programs with Menard. God bless those people at Wright because they heard some of the worst sermons that were ever put on paper. I was just brand new and just getting started. And they let me practice. They let me learn how to do what I do there. Um, and I pastored there for almost a year before I actually took the class that teaches you how to write sermons. At one time, we actually felt and believed quite strongly that that was kind of a mission of the church, an opportunity for them to come out, uh, opportunity for them to preach, learn how to preach, particularly learn how to work with people. Uh, the right folk uh, taught me that being a pastor is loving people and being a part of that community. They used to say when I was there that I was the right pastor for the right people in the right town at the right time. And uh, it was a joy to be their pastor. I still have fond memories. In a CRI Weekly News interview from November of 2008, Vernard Vice President Dr. Robert Bagley explained why Vernard closed after 98 years. It's a combination of, of finance and, and low enrollment. And uh, it's been coming for a long period. And uh, finally got to the point where it was just obvious this is what had to happen. Enrollment when the college closed totaled around 80 students. Pastor Barner said that the college closing also resulted in a 25% drop in his congregation at the Evangelical Church. With Bernard closed, Wright Union Church was left with limited resources for pastors and even worship music. And Bernard in his heyday had a very good musical program. And we had a lot of good musical um, people from Bernard that would, would come out here and, and Fill the, fill the services, if you will. But these guys would come out here and they'd stumble along and almost be able to preach an intelligent sermon in two or three years and get pretty good and graduate and then we start all over again, see? And flooding was yet another reason for the sale and closing of Wright Union Church. And I suppose last summer in August when we had the, the flood out here, if you will, the water, uh, and so much water damage and so on. That was kind of the, the last straw that broke the camel's back, really. Wright Union Church held its last service in October of 2010. 
Remaining members of the church have gone elsewhere for worship. Yeah, most of the people here have scattered to other places, and that gets to be kind of a situation. Um, some of the people that I, you know, talked to since that have been here and looked around, and well, they do something a little different, we don't like this, and so on. I've been going to the Faith Church there in University Park the last, well, basically since October, since we closed out here. February 5th, 2011 marked the end of an era for the Wright Union Church. $19,000. The church in the three and a half acre property was sold for $19,000 to a couple from Oskaloosa. The couple declined an on-camera interview for this piece but said they plan on converting the building into a home. The pews, paintings, piano, pots and pans, Everything but the memories and artifacts lasting more than a century sold at the auction, bringing the total to $25,000. The money will go into a trust fund to continue support of the missionary works Wright Union Church has supported over the years, locally, in California, Virginia, and Panama. All the artifacts and photos from Wright Union Church will be preserved at the Nelson Pioneer Farm, just northeast of Oskaloosa.